we had this crazy idea. We want to 3D print sugar in the shape of blood vasculature. And we tried to work with a couple commercial companies, but it was hard to get um, anything, any sort of communication back and forth with them. So we turned to the maker community, and when we had this crazy idea, we pitched it to the maker community, hey, we need help to do this. Everyone said, yeah, we're really excited to help you. We'll figure this out. We don't fully understand what you're going to use to do that, uh, but we'll figure it out together. The maker community is consisted of people that are just creatives, more or less. I know it's very vague uh, concepts, but uh, one of the big things that I've noticed about the maker community is the whole idea of um, retooling or repurposing. As through 3D printing as an abstract tool, um, you know, people are just just figuring out what to do with it, and we're exploring familiar territory first. Um, but I think that as, as the novelty wears off, um, people are going to really explore new frontiers and really find new applications for this, this kind of this fundamental idea of putting material where you want it um, in, any, in any form, in any, in any, any geometry you need. So we were looking at actually a way to formalize that interaction. It turns out that the scientist and the maker and someone in the DIY bio community, all of us are actually fundamentally seeking knowledge. And this has uh, been the unifying factor between these collaborations. So we were looking at a way to formalize that interaction. And that's how we came up with the Advanced Manufacturing and Research Institute, is a way to formally bring together scientists, people from the maker community, people from the DIY bio community, and have us really learn from each other under a focused constraints of time, funding, and really defined projects. So what I'm really interested in is being able to print genetically engineered cells. What we have this summer, we had uh, four fellows come to Rice and work with us in the lab. So one was an undergraduate here at Rice already, and uh, the other three came from other places. Pretty much the moment he started even thinking about Rice, I just immediately told him, like, I'm in. Like, whatever you're doing, I'm sold. The ideal goal for an Amory Fellowship is a breakthrough mentorship, sponsorship, and infrastructure to allow makers to come in and build new equipment that we can then use for science. And this has been a, a fantastic success this year with these four fellows coming in and building a bunch of equipment, characterizing it, measuring things, reporting back to the community, posting all their designs, all their investigations back online for people to evaluate. You, know, you spend most of your time printing out you know, really impractical things, and yet here you have the opportunity to really break some new ground on creating organs, probably the most practical things. It's, it's very satisfying to like exercise a tool um, you know, as, as, as powerful and sophisticated as 3D printing, to exercise that tool on you know, a, a very like, pressing, relevant problem. Um, granted, people do need iPhone cases, but people also need kidneys a lot more. <laughs>